Hey y'all, I hope everyone's doing well and welcome to my channel. So here we are just cleaning, like I always, say, like I always do, but I think I did all this on about a Saturday. I have just been super, super busy lately. I can't even tell you guys what's going on, not because I can't, but, but just I can't think. You know, ever have things just going, there's just so much here and there. And nothing bad, so I guess that's why I can't remember it. But just switching the laundry over, I have come to the point that I'm doing it all at once. And that this is going to work out for now. Here we are just emptying, empty, oh goodness, emptying a load of Joe's clothes. So, if you guys noticed, Joe's mattress is on the floor. Jeremy actually decided to go in here and do a complete overhaul of Joe's room. I didn't film it because Jeremy's not real familiar with like setting the camera up and doing all that and it would have taken forever and to be honest it just needed done really really badly so I just went ahead and let him do it. I didn't have anything to do with it because I suck at going through Joe's toys. I want to keep freaking everything and most of that stuff he really doesn't need. So Jeremy actually went in there and probably got rid of about 75% of his toys because Joe really doesn't play with all of them. Um, and I didn't have anything to do with it. I just let Jeremy do his thing because honestly, there wasn't anything I could think of off the top of my head that I would have been really upset with that would have gotten thrown away. So I just let Jeremy do his thing and I'm very, very thankful for it. Now, we took the race car bed out of Joe's room because it, I mean, it worked for what it was, but it, um, like stuff kept getting beside on the sides and it was just really gross um, and it it just wasn't working so we took it out and now we're going to get Joe a new bed but for now he's just got a little mattress on the floor but that's just temporary until we figure out what we're doing we're thinking about moving Michael's bunk beds into there and giving Michael the guest bed which is a big old queen size bed so I don't know we'll figure it out but for the meantime that's why Joe's mattress is on the floor um, I don't want a bed in there that has any underneath space um, if it has storage space it's fine but not like just a you know open bed underneath but I, I'm sure there's a, a name for that and what for whatever reason I can't remember oh y'all here's my little nephew I had him this day he was a doll baby I was laughing at my my sister and my brother-in-law so they've been married let's see Sebastian's two so I think they've been married almost four years and they're finally at that point in their marriage where date night is doing all the things that you can't really do when your kids are there. So we kept Sebastian for Saturday night and Allison and her husband, they said they deep cleaned the house until the very next day when the sun came up. And I was like, oh gosh, how does that feel? And they were like, oh, we are not ever gonna physically recover from this. Oh, on to what I'm doing, cause y'all know I'm like a squirrel. We're going to go here and go here, there. I bought a new mop to replace my um, old mop because it was literally like squirting stuff everywhere. I bought this off of Sam's Club. It is an O-Cedar mop. And I believe the first place I saw it was on Gypsy Love. And she had one and this thing's fantastic. It's got the washable pads. It does just as well as my old one did. So I'm very, very happy with this. I don't like the Swiffer ones only because it seems like you have to constantly replace everything. And then you have, like you're always having to buy the pads and then you gotta buy the spray stuff for it. And I like mixing up my cleaners. And that's what you can do here. You just put whatever cleaner you want in there. And this thing is great. I think I paid $34 for it um, on the website and it is the O-Cedar mop. So I was just setting it up. You guys can kind of, see what's going on here that you know it wasn't really that fancy but I did struggle with putting the pad on a little bit but we got it on there and again like my favorite part of this is that you can wash the pads and it did come I think with three of them so the mop that I had had before this I swear I think I had it for almost 10 years so I got my money's use out of it but Joe wanted to take over and mop Whew. I am not very particular and I don't really care too much about straight lines and all that stuff but it was driving me nuts watching him mop here. And I was really trying to just have a fun moment and I didn't fuss or anything with him. I just let him do it. And then as you guys will see here in a minute, I finally, he ends up getting bored and I take over and I'm like, whew, okay. So then I went and finished all the little spots that he he didn't go over. But I, like I said, I was really trying to make sure that he, he enjoyed himself and he didn't associate cleaning with mommy being fussy. So, cause I know the time will come when the kids won't be here and I can keep the house as clean as I want. Well, the reality is I just won't have anybody to blame for the mess except for myself. So 
This is a huge mess that we had been cleaning up from, we had spent the day shopping and then when I came home, I'm naturally like a tornado, I just blown everything everywhere. But then I'm just going back and putting it up and I'm trying to do this thing where I kind of reset the kitchen on Sunday night so everything's, you know, back in order for the kiddos the rest of the week. So putting everything in its place. Okay, just so to update y'all on what's been going on with like my fitness journey, weight loss, all that stuff. Since I started this channel, I have lost 39 pounds, um, which is fantastic. I'm tickled about that. That wasn't something I had originally set out to, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm always excited to lose some weight. Um, you know, I'm still within a healthy BMI and all that stuff, but I am tickled about it. Um, my main goal though is I'm just trying to make sure that I'm doing everything I can to stay physically fit so you know as I get older that I'm still able to do stuff. That's the biggest thing that terrifies me physically about being older is not being able to do stuff for myself. Um, so I'm making sure that I'm taking, taking the initiative to take care of that. So what I've been doing is I'm not doing 75 hard anymore. I, fin I finally finished that. but. Um, Jeremy and I lift weights Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then I run on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. We have just signed up for two 5Ks, so we've been kind of trying to work towards that. Um, I'm that type of person, though, if I'm not super ridiculously busy, then my mind wanders, and I go the complete opposite direction, and like I will just be... I don't know, like I'm one extreme or the other, either, either like super, super lazy or I'm super, super busy. So this is just where I'm at right now. But yeah, I wanted to update y'all on that. Um, I'm only wanting, as far as weight goes, to lose about four more pounds. And then I'm pretty content with that weight. It's like right in the middle of my BMI chart. Um, so I'm, that's about, that's about as far as I want to go with, like I said, with weight loss. Um, the strength stuff, we'll see where that goes in the running and all that. But as far as specifically weight loss, I'm, I'm almost to where I would like to be. If you guys see me start getting a little ripped, you know, and all toned up, that's what's going on. All right, y'all, this is a real small Sam's Club haul. I needed dog food and Tide Pods. So this Purina one, this is what we use. I think this came to about 250. Um, I also ordered a new mop, so that's not included, but got a whole big thing of ground beef so we can freeze it. This was, no idea how much this was. 
38.57. 10 pounds, so 388 pounds are saying hi. Um, Tide Pods, my fruit drinks. Joe did carry med frozen chicken. It was like $23. Um, Jeremy's London Broil. There's two of them. I don't know how much they were. It was $18. Voila chicken or garlic chicken. This stuff is so good. I'm actually going to make this for dinner tonight. And then Stouffer's lasagna. I'll be honest, this is what I cook when I cook for dinner. So this will probably be tonight and this will be Thursday night because those are my two dinner nights. And like I said, I ordered a spray mop, um, one of the refill ones, like the cedar one, not for like deep mopping, but just like real quick because my other one broke. But all right, Sam's, $240. Okay, here's my weekly grocery haul. We went to Kroger. Um, I got a couple things I normally order online, um, but they weren't coming in for a little bit, so we'll just go over them. Um, and they had a couple substitutions. Green beans. This is somebody else's order. So this was not ours, um, somebody else. So uh, they didn't mess our order up, they just gave us, so I'm assuming they messed somebody else's up. Um, I got these for my lunch, these for a little snack. These are Joe's, these are $1.88 I think a piece. Um, this was a substitute, but we like chocolate and almond milk. Um, my sugar-free Red Bulls, because my order wasn't coming in, but I need to look at this, because I think these may actually be cheaper at Walmart than where I've been getting them on Amazon. Um, gallon of milk for the kids, unsweetened almond milk for me and Jeremy for our protein shakes. Um, I love my yogurts. I like the strawberry banana, but I forgot. I love the strawberry cheesecake too. So I got two of them. Um, my son, Michael, likes shrimp, ramen, uh, chocolate cake for a client. It was his birthday last week and I promised him a chocolate cake with hot chocolate icing. A strawberries for the kiddos. Um, bananas, we love bananas. Haley's so lettuce. Jeremy's been cooking with white onions. Um, it's for my desk. Jeremy said that he would do this. This is why he snores so loud. So he's going to start using a neti pot instead of going and taking a sleep apnea test. So we'll see how well it goes. And this is about how he feels. So yes, um, my husband snores like a bear and he says it's his sinuses. I don't think that's the case, but whatever, we'll see. He's at least trying something. Um, I got these to try out. Erica has a doctorate in medicine. I don't have a doctorate in medicine, but I do have a doctorate in being annoyed by how loud you snore. Um, I got these to try. Let y'all know. Um, I got these for a client at work. This I got at Dollar General just because I've been wanting some for a little bit. I got this at Dollar General because it's always spooky season in my heart. And this too so I can scrub our shower because our shower is gross. It's so gross I'm not going to film it. Um, I got these for a friend at work. She was wanting a really good pen and these are like my favorite pens ever. Honey crisp apples. We like the individual ones. Um, well, I say we, I don't like them at all, but they all like them like this. Like they come in a bag sometimes and they're smaller and nobody here seems to like them as much. So this is how we get them. Um, which Walmart, their price isn't that bad. It's about $1.88 a pound. Um, I got some new different tarts. I just picked some different scents. So um, I got lip liner because I have been wearing this matte lipstick, but it looks like it, it bleeds on my face. So yeah. Um, this, because, well, that's what that's about. Um, I think that is about it. So that was $160. Um, this is why it was so expensive. This was $18. Um, like I said, I don't normally get this in my grocery haul because this really isn't a lot. Um, and yes, my kitchen is just a disaster, but I'm going to be cleaning it for last week's video. So uh, anyway, all right, $160 at Walmart. So here we are with a crazy amount of clothes that I'm folding at the very last minute. Again, laundry is something I've been doing all at once. Jeremy actually folded the clothes from last week. He even folded all the clothes like he washed a ton of Joe's clothes. Um, I'm sitting here watching TV. This is one of those things I like to do. 
but yeah, just getting all the clothes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of do my little goodbye thing here. Um, I am absolutely honored that you guys have chosen my video for your cleaning motivation or if you're just wanting to see what's going on with me here. Um, you guys are awesome. I love y'all so much. So I hope wherever y'all are at, you are having a blessed one. I will see you guys in the next one and enjoy all this laundry folding.